Proverbs 24, verses 17 and 18, and this is out of the NIV. Do not gloat when your enemy falls. When he stumbles, do not let your heart rejoice. For the Lord will see and disapprove and turn his wrath from him. I want to talk about Ruth Bader Ginsburg today, guys, and I'm going to upset some folks. And I apologize in advance. Um, what I just read. Don't be happy when your enemy falls. Um, I am willing to bet that a majority of preppers out there are conservative. Okay? Uh, liberals are starting to get on board. And, and welcome to you all. I am conservative, but... At the same time, anytime we can uh, get some more folks uh, stocking food and taking care of things, that's that's awesome. Um, I've let this go for near a week now. Uh, she died last last Friday, um, and I wanted to kind of see what all the reactions would be. And I saw what I was expecting, much to my disappointment. Uh, a lot of people, yay, she's finally dead. That's, that's not right, guys, okay? Uh, and I know I'm getting people upset at me right now. Here. She's, she's a person, she's a woman, she's a lady. She had family that's gonna miss her. Uh, whether you're conservative, liberal, whatever you wanna call yourself, never take joy in someone's death. Um, no, that, that, that's not cool. Um, am I happy that there is a seat open on the Supreme Court? Yeah, okay, she was very liberal, and me being a conservative, okay, um, I'm glad to see that seat open. I'm not happy that she died. I'm not out there throwing a party. That's not cool. Um, yeah, but the verses I read to you, uh, don't take joy in, uh, when your enemy falls, don't rejoice, uh, or God will turn his wrath from him, okay, so, uh, you see your enemies not doing so good, you start celebrating, maybe God takes the wrath away from the enemy and starts pointing it your direction a little bit, okay, so don't do that. Now on to the secular, okay? Uh, yeah, liberals are kind of losing their mind uh, about this. You know, her final wish was that it wouldn't be filled. <clears throat> I I don't know if that was her <laughs> her final wish, her final words. Uh, I know if I'm uh, heading out permanently. My final words are going to be to my family, not to uh, not dealing with whatever party I affiliate with. Um, I think it's just politicians being politicians. But to touch on that, okay, because now the thing is, well, Trump needs to go ahead and appoint somebody right away. Uh, you guys have short memories, the ones that are thinking that way, or maybe back uh, four years ago, maybe you were a little younger, didn't pay attention to politics as much or something. Uh, yeah, right before the 2016 election, uh, another Supreme Court justice passed away, and he was a conservative, okay? And Obama was going to go ahead and appoint somebody. And Congress said, no, 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 we're not going to do that. We're going to wait until the new president is elected. Okay? Obama's trying to do that so he can ensure that a liberal justice gets appointed. The conservatives are doing that because they don't want a liberal justice. They want a conservative justice. Uh, and, of course, they said different things, whatever. But now, kind of the same thing happens, but the shoe's on the other foot, right? Uh, 
now the liberals are yelling, no, don't appoint another one, don't appoint somebody new till after the president is elected. They were screaming last time, appoint it, why aren't you letting the appointment go through, appoint. And the conservatives are like, nope, it's not right. Well, now the conservatives are like, appoint, appoint right now, do it now. <laughs> and the liberals are like, no, that's not right. Okay, you guys know I'm conservative, I'm Christian. But I believe what's good for the goose is good for the gander, guys, okay? Uh, yeah, last time, uh, Congress did not allow President Obama to appoint someone to that position. And if that happened last time, it might have happened this time. And I know I've probably just upset a lot of you guys, okay? But I'm sorry, you know, turnabout is fair play, right? I mean, come on, seriously, we can't switch our stances that quick just because it suits us now. Uh, so no, my opinion is, okay, last time we waited till uh, after the presidential elections, so this time, well, sorry, after a new president was inaugurated, there we go, and this time we ought to wait for the inauguration, whether Trump gets reelected or <laughs> or God forbid, and, and, and the liberals watching it, if you like Biden, that awesome man, I just, he scares me, he's, <laughs> he's, uh, but anyway, you do you, uh, but, or if Biden happens to become president, yeah, it ought to be his choice as far as appointments, and I know I'm going to, I'm going to catch heat from this from everybody, I know I am, but, uh, I wanted to say that, as far as this and also guys you guys out there high-fiving and celebrating because of the death of this lady um nah everybody needs to chill out okay and i've i've made different videos about everybody calming down um get in the house sorry my kids are standing outside um Okay, let's go a little tinfoil hatty real quick. Uh, whoever your boogeyman is, deep state, foreign, foreign country, well, I guess, other countries, right? I guess they're all foreign if they're not here. Uh, other countries, uh, whoever your boogeyman is, um, they love seeing us at each other's throats, guys. They love this. They are just enjoying every second of it. Um, old Abe Lincoln, he was the president, by the way, uh, said, uh, house divided shall not stand. Okay. Uh, in fact, he got that from the Bible. Ooh, there's a lot of good stuff in the Bible. You guys ought to read it sometime. A lot of, a lot of smart stuff. Uh, but yeah, pretty much guys, we're at each other's throats. Knowing that a house divided shall not stand, if we are divided over everything, it's not going to happen. Uh, we are one of the most powerful countries in the world militarily. For somebody to go toe with toe with us, even if they would happen to win, they're going to suffer tremendous, tremendous losses. So how do you take out the U.S.? Okay, there's different ways, you know, blah, blah, blah. If you guys, no, I'm not talking about EMP, grid down, that stuff. Uh, but yeah, you turn the people, this is killing me, I got a little notification up here, sorry. Uh, you turn the people on themselves. That's what you do, guys. It, you, you turn the people on themselves. You make them so busy fighting each other that they don't care about anything else. Um, and, and we've talked before about how people humans as a species we're very tribal okay you look like me you sound like me you talk like me i like you okay we're very tribal that's what we talked about you know you root for your high school football team and then the college team well the guys that you rooted against in high school now he's on your favorite college team well now he's a good guy and now you move on to your national football league and the guys that you hated at your uh 
college that you hated, he's now on your pro team and you like him. All right, he's a good player. I like this guy. It's good. It 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 just goes on and on. You know, the uh the Olympics, okay? Uh the whole country gets behind Team USA, right? And it doesn't matter where they're from, what race they are, color, creed, every anything else. Um so it's uh so we we need something to bind us, okay? Uh you know, uh Reagan's real popular sorry, not real popular. What am I saying? One of his popular sayings, there you go, that gets played over and over again, that what was it? Uh, and I'm have to paraphrase, it's been a while. Wonder what the world talking about the world coming together if they faced a threat from outside of our solar system. Okay. Yeah, it's like you need something to bring the people together. Um, that's why a lot of times, all of a sudden, we'll just go to war over something. Uh, not necessarily to strike that. Not necessarily to bring us together. There's many other things at play. A lot of times it separates us more. Too much money at play. Bad example. Forget that. Uh, but uh, not as far as like, yeah, Olympic stuff like that work. You know, we're all back in Team USA. Um, so we need to quit looking at the things, zeroing in on the things that separate us and try to start looking at the things that, that bring us together, that join us together. Okay, I've, I've said this on other videos and I'm not, I'm not expecting that uh, Big G from Be The Ant Preparedness is going to bring world peace. No, no, I'm not saying that. Okay. Um, if just one person out there watches this video and thinks about what's being said and changes a little bit, I'll be happy. I'll, I will be ecstatic. That will be awesome. Um, but yeah, we need to quit looking at all the things that separate us. Start looking at things that bring us together. Because uh, the more infighting we have, yeah, your boogeyman, whoever your bad guy is, yeah, they're loving it. And I don't care who it is. They all love it. If your boogeyman is the government of the United States, yeah, they love when the people are divided because then they can do whatever they want to do because we're fighting about stupid crap while they're passing whatever they want. If your boogeyman is a uh, another country, you know, foreign actors, blah, 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 whatever you want to call it, uh, yeah, they love it when we're fighting with another, one another because we ain't paying attention to them. Uh, and, and that's the biggest thing. It's like, and you can always tell uh, when people are starting to get starting to get too friendly with one another because something pops up all of a sudden to, to set everything off right and people fall for it every time my conservative friends out there if you are celebrating over the death of Ruth Bader Ginsburg you are playing right into their hands man you are playing right into their hands listen to me please <laughs> please listen to me you're playing right into your boogeyman's hands. I mean, you are. And this, I hate the liberals, and I had the one guy talk about gutting Democrats in the streets. Yeah, they, they, they're they they just loving it. They're salivating because we are fighting each other. We need to stop fighting each other. Are we going to disagree? Absolutely. Are we going to uh, have our little spats now and then? Yeah, but it doesn't have to turn into hatred. And I'm not saying conservatives are the only ones. For my liberal guys out there, okay? You guys have all seen the videos of the protests on college campus and then like somebody that doesn't share their beliefs walks up and asks a question or has a sign. They lose their freaking minds, okay? The, yeah, the uh, accepting liberal left uh, yeah, they're very accepting and tolerance of everybody that's exactly like them. So it's on both sides. So it's, it's not just conservative. It's not just liberals. We are all just fighting each other like crazy. And everybody needs to relax and chill out. Is it going to happen? No. But you know what? I'm saying my, uh, saying my piece, giving my two cents on it. But, uh, I know it's not, not very preppy today, you know, talking about prepping stuff. But, uh, yeah, I let this whole Ruth Bader uh, Ginsburg thing 
uh, marinate for a few days. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Marinate for a few days before I set anything. Uh, but yeah, I thought it was time to go ahead and go ahead and weigh in on it. You know, uh, let you guys know my opinion of the situation. It's diet. So that means now I got cancer forming in me. And it's stupid too. We do stuff all the time. We drink diet pop and yeah, it's got carcinogens in it. I know I'm just as stupid as everybody else. Um but anyway guys, I'm sorry. I I I'll quit uh I'll quit going on here. I I'll, I'll go ahead and wrap it up. But uh yeah, no, if you disagree with me, like always comment down below. Please watch the language. <laughs> Be respectful, come on. Uh, and, and that's the biggest thing is, uh, that's what I'm talking about, bringing everybody together. We're gonna have disagreements, we're gonna have disputes. But if we're able to sit and actually talk about those things, we're gonna get a whole lot more done over just screaming and hollering at one another, calling each other names and blaming each other for this and that. I just wish people would get over that stuff, but but I guess it's more fun to have somebody to hate, right? You know, it, it it's uh, always more fun to have somebody to hate because then you can find somebody else that hates them too, and now you guys are a team, right? But we got to get out of that, guys. We got to get away from that. You know, house divided will not stand, and that is absolutely correct. Uh, we we, we got to start coming together. Yeah, come together. Yeah, I ain't gonna sing. I'm not gonna torture you guys with that. But uh, anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Yeah, always comment down below. Pre uh, please, I appreciate it. Uh, please keep it civil, respectful. You know, watch the, uh, all the all the cursing, the cussing, the bad stuff. But uh, appreciate it. And we'll talk to you guys at 12. Bye.